Why do we even want to trade carbon? And we only want to trade carbon, obviously for the good of the world, but we only want to trade carbon because of the Paris Agreement. And the Paris Agreement is the underlying agreement signed by 190 plus nations, where we've got this collective goal of restricting temperature rise to one and a half, below two degrees, 2050 or so. The underlying principle of that is a lot of data. And I think that's been the missing link in the market. We have the voluntary markets, trading little projects, and we have the Paris Agreement looking at national level top down. And the platform that we provide can look at projects, but also validate the numbers that are going into the UN after So we're trying to validate, and most importantly, commercialize the Paris Agreement. Without the Paris Agreement, we wouldn't be trading cars. The Paris Agreement has a concept called Article 6, and Article 6 allows the transfer of carbon at the sovereign level between either sovereign to sovereign or sovereign to other parties and other parties can report this in effect. So within that, what you have to think about, every country has to report its greenhouse gas position, its greenhouse gas inventory. And it's an annual reporting structure and they have to report across four sectors. Sectors being one, energy, two, industrial process, three, waste, and four, AFALU. AFALU is agriculture, forestry, and other land use. So our focus at the Conic currently is on the AFALU sector, the nature sector. And so the very platform we provide there, if you think of nature, it's probably the most complex to value and understand the carbon and the carbon metrics. So that's what the platform is there to do.